these are already picked. For 30 years, Rich Colwell has been growing citrus on his Penryn ranch. I like to just use the eye test. Uh, and the taste test. He picks his 200 mandarin, orange, and lemon trees by hand and sells his harvest around the country. We would like it to continue to be our livelihood. But now the fruit of Rich's labor stands threatened by a devastating tree disease known as HLB. If this got loose here, we could within a few years be out of business. It's spread by a tiny bug, the Asian citrus psyllid. So it might look about like that, about that size. A menace that's been swiftly spreading closer and closer to Placer County. They've been migrating up. This particular group has come up from Mexico. It's migrating because people are moving infected trees. Rich and other growers are working with the state to halt the spread using these sticky pads that attract bugs and are later inspected. They are reviewed about every two weeks. Rich says public awareness is the other key to preventing an agricultural disaster. If it's not controlled, it can effectively wipe out the entire uh, citrus population. Number one, don't accept or bring in any citrus trees from infected areas or out of the state. For those of you who have citrus trees at home like this one, Rich recommends you inspect them once every two weeks. Weeks. And the best way to know if they're healthy is to first look at the leaves. It'll come in and it'll lay its eggs right here, burrows in, and if it is carrying the disease, then the disease will work its way in to the tree and within a, a few year period will kill the tree. Killing something Rich has dedicated his life to, but he says with a few simple steps, that fate can be avoided. The idea of having to tear up uh, something that you have been working on for uh, 20 or 30 years is, is very disconcerting. The more that people know about this, the more that they're aware of it, the more likely it is that we're going to be able to stop it. In Penryn, Natalie Brunel, KCRA 3 News.